Hey, this is Dave and Rich again from housebearings.com. Today we're going to show you what's going on behind the scenes if you have a sink that's giving you hot water, but the shower is not. We want to show you how to do a job yourself so you can save a ton of money. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notified immediately when the videos come out. This is what controls the hot water in a modern shower valve. And inside here is the cartridge that we're going to address. We're going to take this out, show you how to take it out, put it in, and we're going to show you how to adjust it. But before you can do anything with this, uh, you got to turn off the water. Uh, there's a lot of pressure behind that cartridge. And if you were to take this off and pull the cartridge out, you would have a uh, full pressure amount of water coming into you, into the room, which then it's too late to decide you want to turn the water off. So let's go do that right now. All right, this is our Viega Mana Block. It individually controls the hot and the cold water for uh, each outlet place. And so now we're turning the hot water off on our shower one and the hot water off on shower head two. And I've already done the cold water off on shower head one and cold water off on shower head two. If you don't have an individual setup where you can turn off indi individual fixtures, uh, you'll have a main ha whole house shut off and you can do, do that as well. Uh, but you gotta make sure that the water that can go to your shower is turned off before proceeding. Okay, we're checking to make sure that the water is indeed off on the shower. And that's just residual from what's in the pipe. But, uh, this is really important because you don't want to have a disaster. We'll do this one too. That one's off. All good. So we are ready to proceed. Okay, first off on a Delta faucet, uh, we have a hole in the back. And we'll just stick our Allen wrench in there, loosen up the bolt that holds it, do a couple turns and it pops off. And you can see uh, it, it's a friction fit right in there. All right, so we'll take both of them off. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna adjust the hot water in both of these. All right, the, uh, if you can read that, it says hotter to the left and colder to the right. And on the, the white part of the valve here, it says pull out and turn to adjust. So we want hotter water. So we're gonna pull it out and then we'll turn it. We're gonna just go halfway and we'll try that. And so that's, uh, this would be all the way it's a quarter turn is all the way and we originally were right in the middle and it was just lukewarm so we're just going to split the difference and we'll see how that does okay so now all we got to do uh to check our adjustment is to put our handle back on and um, we'll go ahead and give it a test all right we've got the shower on all the way hot and it's not it's warmer than it was, but it's not like roasty hot like we want. So we'll go a little bit, we'll turn it a little bit more. Before we turn the water off as a precaution, it's always a good idea to be safe and sorry, but to adjust it, we don't need to necessarily. But it, again, like I said, better safe than sorry. We're gonna pull this out and turn it a little bit more to the left. Yeah, and then once it gets wet, it's a little hard to turn. There we go. So that is it. Okay. Put our handle back on. And we'll tighten it back up. All right, so we'll just test it and see if they're good and hot now. That was the solution. Got nice warm showers and uh, Really a super fast, super easy job. Five minutes and you're done. Okay, that's all there is to it. I hope this video helps. If you got anything out of it, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for viewing.